Hi, this is Peter Stanley. Welcome to my channel. Today is August 22nd, 2020, and this is my weekly pepper grow update. It's starting to rain, so I'm going to try to get these done first out here. This is the uh, white bikinio. It's producing quite a bit, and starting to get a few that are ripe. Actually, I've been getting a few that are ripe, getting more ripe. Uh, time to pick some of these down and do something with them. They taste pretty good. I need to do a review on one of these. I'll try to do that this week. This is a uh, peach darkest. It's a kank star cross variant of um, it's the same cross as the lemon starburst, but it's a different phenotype, different color. Pies are pretty much the same shape. And these turned a peach color. Unripe on there yet. This is an ahi rainforest. It's from the rainforest in Brazil. And these ripen out. This one could go a little bit longer, but they'll ripen out to like a, a deep orange red. That's how they look. I've got another plan on the main drip system. This is uh, Blue Christmas. I picked these down this week. And a few more have ripened up. And there's some more purple ones that haven't turned yet. I'll probably push out another round before it gets cold. It's a really pretty plant. I like it a lot. This is a chocolate Naga Brain. It's looking a million times better than it did starting out. If you saw the earlier updates, you can get some really nice peppers on here. This is one that Jimmy Johnson sent me. ACNY cross with bubblegum. Yellow is becoming a pretty big plant. This is part of it here. Goes back to over here. All of it, all these are in three gallon containers. And I've got I've got pods on this one. A lot of, a lot of peppers done ripe yet, but it's more there. This is a boot solid gold. It's another one that got kind of a rough start. But doing a lot better. And I've got some peppers on it now. These ripen to like a golden color. There's a few others on there. This is a Primo Cross, not chocolate. I'm not sure all of the history on it, but that's what it's called. It's another one Jimmy Johnson sent me. I think the desired on this is like the purple foliage. And mine has the green. I got some Really nice peppers on here, nice bumpy texture, shiny. I think they're supposed to turn red when they're ripe. This is a MA Mutant Cross. And I've got, I had lost a branch on here I mentioned in another video. I've got some really cool looking pods on here. This uh, is Thai Yellow Long. Pretty nice size plant. My other one on the uh, drip, the main drip system, has got some turning. At least haven't yet. And this is a uh, Faria cross. It's supposed to be Faria, but obviously not. But it's got it produces these pods that ripen out red. I need to go ahead and pick those. I tried one. There's a bunch more back there. Tried one, they're actually pretty hot and have a good flavor. This is a uh, ta no, uh, peri peri. And I picked this down the other day too. Got all the ripe pods, but I got a few more. I put all of them in the dehydrator, making powders with. The 60 gallon pickle barrel is the uh, Lingria. It's a Lenzo crossed with Sangria. It's another King Star cross. I've picked one full round of these and dried them out, made some nice powder. Things loaded with peppers again. Some are starting to turn. This is a cracky system. I've got a video on how I set this up last year. I'll link to it. But yeah, it's that's super productive. Uh, Really like that. Nice size trunk on there too. I'll show you this off and on. This is a white, I mean, uh, it's a white sage. It's 
It's often used in smudging. Very fragrant. It's in a little wicking setup. You just barely touch the leaves and you can smell. It's real gummy. Uh, yeah, it's a pretty cool plant. Uh, this is a Kingstar Lemon Starburst in a self-warning container getting fed mega crop. And I picked a bunch of peppers this past week that were ripe and all that. It's yellow now. It just turned ripe in the last few days. And I made some sauce with the ones that I picked earlier. So it's um, a lot more green ones on there yet to turn. This is my 27 gallon. Uh, it's kind of a hybrid cracky setup with a reservoir. Hasn't started using the reservoir yet, but there's a reservoir tied to a float valve. So what happens is it'll draw down the nutrients to where the float valve maintains the level and then it'll start feeding from here. I think I over fertilized it, so leaves are a little weird, but um, the plant's doing okay. But this is a Kingston yellow peppers there. Get it to focus. Some more pods on this side. This one's a, a Reaper Tally. And I've got some pods on it. A couple more there. This one is a Seven Pot West. Kind of separate it from these others. Comes out to here. This is all growing out of a two gallon fabric pot. You can see here. It's feed it mega crop every other day. There's the peppers on there. Uh, this is a wicking setup and the big fat red has kind of taken over and that's why the palmyra is not growing so well. And there's another couple that is just kind of taken over and it's blocking light. But it's doing very well. And the pods are like a kind of coming out to a rust or Crimson, caramel kind of color. This one there, it's pretty loaded. Yeah, got some more mega crop plants. This is a ACNY crossed with bubble gum. This one, um, looks like it's getting a lot of insect damage and whatnot. Yeah, it's got a pod. This is a OLTS from the it's from the boot fino seeds, but I uh, like the other one that I've got. It's putting out. Some are kind of boot-like, and most of them have these wicked tails like that. That's just like the other plant I've got. This is from Jimmy Johnson, but it's got kind of more of a scorpion shape. They're really cool looking. And this is uh, another mega crop plant. It's a chocolate ghost jammy. Pretty gnarly pods on there. One's starting to turn back there. And these here are um, Master Blend fed plants. This is a Dragon's Breath and it goes all the way up there. It's a pretty big plant. And I'm getting some, getting some really cool pods on it. And there's Several more. There's more there. And that's growing right next to um, a container that has two plants in it. This is where the huge leaves is an unknown. It's a volunteer that popped up out of the potting mix. And it's growing. Competing with this other one for light. But it's got some flowers, no pods yet. And then the one with purple leaves. And dark stems is another one from Jimmy Johnson. It's a Bula XP F4. And I've got a really nice looking pod there. Another one above it. And this last one is um, a ghostly jalapeno. And it's getting pretty tall, pretty productive. The peppers on this aren't as big as the, the ones I got last year, but it's plenty productive. I think I've got some starting to turn. Yep, back in there. These are really nice for powders. Alright, so that's my uh, grow update for this week. And I'll show you the main drip plants next week. And uh, anyway, hope you like that. Thank you very much for watching.
please like, comment, and subscribe.